punctuation marks. Punctuation is the use of spacing, conventional signs, to the understanding and correct reading of writing text. There are 14 punctuation marks that are commonly used in English grammar. Mainly punctuations divided into two parts. One is terminants, another one is pauses. Terminants such as full stop, question mark, and exclamation mark. These terminants used to end of the sentences. The remaining noun are comma, semicolon, colon, dash, hyphen, parents, brackets, brass, apostrophe, quotation marks, and ellipses. These noun are used to pause in the sentences. Now first we learn about full stop. This is Raju. He is 9 years old. He is studying 5th class. He is a good boy. Observe these sentences. Every sentence ends with full stop. So, full stop ends of a sentence. Our MUOs visited our school last Monday. I study BSc CBJ group. Here observe those, these two sentences abbreviations put as a full stop like MUO BSc CBJ. So full stop is used abbreviation words also. So, full stop used, end of a sentence, and abbreviation words. Next, comma. Comma is used for giving a short pause in a sentence. For example, first usage, to separate three or more nouns as a list. I like apple, banana and mango. Here apple, banana and mango are nouns. The, those are the list in a sentence. So it is separated with comma. One more example. We need milk, egg, flour, and sugar for the cake. Here also milk, egg, flour, sugar are the list of items with separated with comma. Next usage to separate phrases or clauses. Sir. Please have a seat. In these sentences, sir is a phrase, so it is separate with comma. Next, this is a great book. In fact, it is one of the best I have read. These two classes separated in fact with comma. In third case, 
to separate direct speech. For example, he says, I'm in. He says, after we put comma. Next one, question mark. At the end of a sentence that asks a question, that means interactive question, sentences end with question mark. Who are you? What, are, what is your name? How old are you? Which class are you studying? All interactive sentences end with question mark. Explanation mark. At the end of a word or sentence which express strong feelings, we can use explanation mark. For example, Wow, what a cute baby. What a beautiful day. Oh my God. In all these sentences, we express feelings. So, we put explanation mark. Next, apostrophe. Firstly, it can be used in contractions in place of omitted letters. And secondly, it can show possession. Now, where we use contractions, observe carefully. He is my brother. It's his book. He is its. Those are contractions. His means he is, its means it is. In secondly, we show possession. Uh, observe the examples. This is Raju's book. My father's name is Ramaya. He, in these two sentences, Raju's and father's is refers to possession of those things. So, apostrophe is used in contractions and possessions. Next, quotation marks. Quotation marks are inverted commas are used in direct speech. For example, he said, I am a teacher. Next one, he says, I am in. One more example, she says, she sang a song. In these sentences, we use quotation marks where the direct speech words or phrases are given. Next one, Colon. Colon used in two places. First one is used to introduce the endist. For example, answer the following questions. Given the list of questions, after we use colon. Next, before someone speaking, that means dialogues. For example, Ram, how are you? Sita, fine, how are you? Next, semicolon. Semicolon is used to separate parts of a sentence. It is stronger than a comma, but not as a full stop. For example, Ram read the book. His friend saw the movie. In this sentence, two parts is there. Ram read the book is one part and his friend saw the movie is another part. These two parts is separated with semicolon. He, he is a painter. All the ones are painted. Here also used semicolon.